Well, good afternoon. Um, we just want to advise today that we've reached a really important milestone for um, the redevelopment of the central city and the blueprint plan, and that is that the Crown has um, now signed up to purchase three properties within the central city. First one is, is the Lux building in the, in the um, convention centre site and also the Craig's building right behind me, that um, black glass building. So those obviously form part of the convention centre site and the other one is the Poplar Apartments over in the East Frame, close to where the family playground will be established. We we'll also uh, have agreement in principle with 16 other landowners and uh, in final advance stages with another 50 and on top of that we're in uh, active negotiations with another 116 owners. So uh, it's very important from our point of view that that's now underway. So there we go. Happy to take any questions. Do you have a deadline for when you would like to get the 104 parcels you announced last week signed and sealed? It was 104. Was it 104? Was that the 47? 47. 47. 47 owners yeah, sure. Okay. So the, the, those ones are the, um, the ones around um, Convention Centre and top of the East Frame. So we're very keen on those in the first quarter next year to have those under ownership of the Crown. Yes, yes. Um, so we're just finalising that with the owner at the moment, whether in fact we will do the work or whether, whether they will do the work. So, um, and what we'd like to see is essentially all the buildings on that site really come down as one package in order to make it more efficient. Mm. So we will work on, so that's the convention centre site? That is the convention centre site, yes. So when would you like to see work on that uh, well, I'd expect we'd go out for um, proposals to, from the private sector about April, May next year. And by the time some design starts, I would think probably about this time next year there'll be some physical work on site. I guess essentially the, the convention centre is one of the, the key um, areas of the draft plan, so this is a big, a big step forward. Thank you. This is a big step forward. It's a big step forward. It's one of the four priority projects that we had identified. So yeah, for us it's a really big, big step forward. Are you happy with the time it's taken to get these first purchases? Yes, well, it's a wee while since the end of July, of course, but um, it does take time for us to get our processes and then for owners to understand and employ valuers and also get the information out to um, the valuation fraternity and also the legal fraternity about what we're doing. So I'm, I'm pretty happy we've got these announcements before Christmas, yes. Do you think it'll boost other property owners to start doing the same? Well, I'd, I'd like... I think for us it, it shows that, that we are really committed to that blueprint being delivered and, um, and I think therefore other landowners will say okay well, th this is real and, and um, they'll be very keen to get on with the process with us. The numbers are quite small at the moment, how soon do you reckon before it starts to really build up? Well I would think before Christmas that we may well have 70 signed contracts. Uh, in the early, very early in the new year that'll be uh, very close to 200 so that's getting on past a quarter of the properties we wish to purchase and, and some of them um, as, as I've talked about before aren't at the forefront of our mind so I think um, that's really good progress today even though the numbers today are still quite small. So um, how long do you anticipate taking to signed up? Every single piece I would think that will be um, probably third or fourth quarter next year. Mm. And uh, when will we get to the stage Well we've made a previous announcement that we've um, written to uh, owners of 47 properties. There's, there'll be some more compulsory letters go out next week. But again that's essentially a holding pattern to get underway with the start of that process. Let the willing buyer, willing seller negotiation get to a point where uh, it, it may not uh, finalise and, and after that uh, we'll then look at whether we need to use compulsory powers. You got me stumped there, I'm sorry, I can't remember. But it, it's essentially all the convention centre site, both this side of um, Gloucester and the other side of Gloucester, so it's all those properties. Probably slightly less, but, but it wouldn't be too dissimilar. Hmm. Has the willing seller, willing buyer model broken down in any negotiations so far? What? No, not yet. As you'd imagine, we've had some quite um, robust discussions with, with landowners, as, as you'd expect, but no, none where it's actually broken down. No, we've managed to forge through and uh, get a conclusion. Do you 
is it a tricky process of agreeing on a on a current market valuation with these with some of the landowners? Yeah, tricky, perhaps not tricky, but it, it's I think for some, um, and there's been public comment about it for those who've been active negotiating that, that perhaps a realisation of what the real values are um, does some take 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 some time to actually get to, but um, but no, it hasn't been too tricky so far. Why well, was it possible to uh, pay people that these properties were worth say in 2007? Simply because um, th this is a commercial transaction. It's not about people's homes. It's about people's businesses, and it's an entirely different proposition than, than a 2007 rating valuation for someone's home. Mm. Why is that? Well, simply because that, that the buildings and, and properties are used for entirely different purposes. This is this is a commercial. Um, transaction as opposed to a someone who, who lives and resides in their home. As opposed to somebody uh, selling their house and it's still a commercial but, but for many people that their, their home is their castle and it's about where they live and, and where their families have grown up and, and so it is quite a different sort of distinction from a commercial building that's primarily for business purposes. Mm. Those landowners that have commented publicly is for those that are balking at some of the um, numbers being put forward on each side, are some of those landowners going to have to get a bit more realistic about what their land is worth? Well, look, for some I think there may be a bit of that and I think for some it's also um, to get on and, and actually employ the right valuation advice and, and um, not just sort of listen to market hearsay but actually actively involve um, themselves with, with the process, get a value or find out what the value thinks it's worth and then, then engage with us. Mm.